So sometimes when you're either trying to identify a bird and maybe you go to an expert and you say, hey, I just saw this bird and it's kind of brown. It had these two rings around it. They might ask you more clarifying questions like, did it have an eye ring? Was there a supercilium or an eye line? Or were the primary feathers, did they come, did they extend beyond the tail or end before the tail? And so these kinds of identifying features, these parts of a bird are really helpful to know. And I've, ident I've added a few here to this uh, image and they're certainly not all of them. There's many others that we could get into, but these are just some of the basics to help you get started. So you can pause the video first and see if you can figure out which of these words over here line up with the arrows on the bird right there. All right, so if you've had a chance to check it out and figure it out for yourself, let's get started. So we'll start up here at the top. So this beautiful ring around here, not all birds have it, or not all birds, it's, they all have that area of the eye, but they don't all um, stand out like this one does. And so this is called the eye ring. It's a beautiful little part of a bird. If you get zoom in really close to most birds, you can see it's a lovely, lovely part. The next part right here, this is called the supercilium. Sometimes people call it the eyebrow. And then this next little dark line right there, a lot of people refer to that as an eye line. So sometimes it's a larger, it's bigger on some birds. It's, it's thicker. It's a bit more easy to see. This one's a very, very fine eye line. But when you talk about the eye line, it's right here at the, in the, on the bird's face. Then this area right here, these are called the coverts. They're a little bit harder to see on this bird here, which is the killdeer. It's a plover. And, uh, but if you look at other birds, sparrows, for instance, um, their coverts are a little bit easier to see. And these are the feathers that cover, covert, cover the primaries and the secondary feathers. And, uh, and they act like shingles on a roof. Then over here, some people confuse these two parts and on different birds, on various birds, it can be easier on some and harder on others. A lot of people might call this the bird's tail right here. <clears throat> this is actually, these are actually the primary feathers. These are, um, if you were to extend the wing all the way out, it's the, the longest, those most beautiful end, the feathers that are at the end of the, the wing there. This here is the bird's tail, and this particular bird is the tail. Sometimes a bird's tail might end here, and the primary feathers might project or go beyond the tail. So that's a really important feature to know right there. It can really help you to distinguish one species over another in some birds. Then down here, this area is called the flanks. Sometimes it has striping on it or barring, so that's a good area to look for. This bird doesn't have any distinguishing features on its flanks. This right here, a lot of people think of this as the bird's knee, when in fact, it's actually the bird's ankle. So the bird's knee is a bit further up here. It's a part that we can't see um, unless we were to have a bird that wasn't alive and you could actually see the skeleton up here. So the bird's knee is up here. This is the bird's ankle. So you can see it kind of, it actually bends backwards like that. If you were to try to stand up with your knee, our knees bend forward like this bird's does. It actually is a bend there and then the bend backwards right there is the ankle and the toes are down below there. And I think I covered, oh yeah, and this here is the belly band. So this is a nice beautiful belly band on the bird. This would be a neck band. Um, most people just call them the rings around the neck for this particular species, but there's lots of other features we can talk about. These are just a few, so I hope this was helpful for you. And if you like this video, go ahead and click like. Thanks.